Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. Uh, tonight, I'm going to show you a little bit on the TRX uh, 70. Sorry if I look friggin' rough. We just got back from a 220-something uh, mile round trip. We picked some stuff up, but uh, we got the TRX, TRX, ATC 70. I might have said that wrong at the beginning, but ATC 70, we got it. A lot of it broke down, like you've seen in the first video. Uh, this video kind of shows you a little more of what we've been doing, and it is a mess, let me tell you guys. Horrible. Let me flip you around, and we'll show you what we got so far. Here we go with the little makeshift bucket stands for the three-wheeler. We got the front wheel off, as you can see. Uh, we finally got the side cover off. I don't think I had it off in the last video, but you've seen the uh, piston here and stuff in the last video we got the tank off see here got some dirt and whatnot stuck up underneath of it this here has actually broke so we got a new one of those that came with the bike but here's inside of the stator and whatnot you see it moves the piston we're gonna order the i got this nut loose but we're gonna order the puller pull this off and check the points and stuff in there see how awful it is inside of there but the worst part of this whole thing is going back to the front wheel i got it apart but it's pretty primitive this one here actually slid out uh, i used my press to press the tire down finally got that one broke loose but you can see how cruddy it is this one here would not come loose so i had to like saw saw the freaking tire off as you can see and i'm gonna have to like saw saw in here nip it through to get it tore off you see the plug here or the valve stem is gonna have to be changed but this used to look like this and the reason being is they used a bunch of slime in this son of a gun and it's set for years and years and years i beat most of this one off or not beat it off but scraped it off with a scraper i'm going to try to get my wire brush to clean all this up but let me show you oh my lord let me show you the junk that come out of it looks like vomit gross 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 but it's all inside the tire don't do this guys fix it fix it the right way don't gum up your rims and make it look like vomit why wow. camaro don't make it look like vomit and do your wheels like yes your rims wheels rims whatever you guys want to call it it's horrible horrible situation you can see all the junk in here kentucky chrome sprayed a little bit sprayed that one actually black then kentucky chrome it was supposed to be freaking uh the aluminum looking color that they come factory like my little z50 here that color but no it's i got a bunch of paint Went and bought some more. I'll show you. Aluminum gloss. That looks like aluminum gloss. I mean, that looks fairly close. A little bit brighter. But no, she comes out freaking Kentucky Chrome. So, that's a bust. But, guys, what I was wanting to show you, I know I'm just like, woo! all over the place we actually went out tonight and bought some parts i guess you would say for this little bike this little track this little jewel and i'll show you that right now booyah another 1984 atc 70 but wait another one parts bike kentucky chrome gas tank 
This one's got the factory style gas tank on it. Metal. Both of them's metal. Unlike the plastic one that was on this one. So hopefully, this one's got rust inside of it. I don't know how awful, how bad it is. That one back there looks pretty clean, but I haven't got them off the box yet to see what the bottom of them look like. So hopefully they're good. But I got this piece, front fender. I don't know if I'll use it or not because I'd like to get some new plastics maybe. But rear grab bar. The bike over here has got a real nice looking axle in it. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Both of them's missing the pull starts. You see there. Missing the pull start. The whole apparatus. So is this one. But as you could tell there, if you're familiar with these. And I wasn't. I just knew it was different. That is actually a 70 Honda four-wheeler motor. 1986, I believe it was according to the VIN on the motor. That one up there is actually 1984 ATC 70 Honda motor, just like the one behind me. Hmm, I'm thinking I may, I'm gonna use most of the parts on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and order uh, new rings for this one. Probably going to hone the cylinder. Make it look pretty. I think it'll clean up real good. I think. I know the last video we kind of scuffed up a little bit. I think it'll be alright. But we're going to take this off. Check the points and everything in there. Hopefully it's good. Put the new cool on it. I guess is what you call that. See if she's got spark and all that good stuff. But we're going to clean all this up. Detail it. Paint the frame. Polish the chrome, try to find a kill switch. Uh, this one here has actually got one on it. That seems to work okay. The throttle and everything moves. It's off loose, but it moves. That one's got some type of different deal on it. I don't know where the kill switch is on it. But we're going to try to use some of the parts, possibly off of that one, to finish this one back here. And we may, may try to fix this one with that motor. Take this motor off, that motor off, swap them around. Use that one because it's like the actual ATC 70 motor. I think it's the, they're the same motors, but the, the flywheel thing's different. See, this one's got like a pickup on the side of it. In a big old deal. I don't know if they're a little bit bigger as far as the pull starts. But anyways, guys. We went and picked these up tonight. I think I got them for a pretty good deal. For the pair. Everything you see from here. To there. Was 500 bucks. I guess that's a pretty good deal. I actually paid. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. I paid $450 for this one. As it said in the first video. Those actually, these over here to the left, they actually turn over. You can turn them with the stator or a flywheel, whatever you want to call it. So, I guess I've done a pretty good, pretty good deal. Between all three of them, I got four or 950 bucks. Got three new tires. That's the tires for my 50. Three new tires. Then over here is the Japanese Cool. There you go and then uh these are the gaskets for the wheels i guess they'll seal i'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning on it a lot of cleaning and preparing these wheels might actually be a little bit better i don't know i mean they've been painted too they're not factory paint on them but they might be a little bit easier to take off i don't know i'm gonna do the factory style tires like these, well, right there on this one, pretty it up, make it look kind of more factory. If I build another one, build the other one, I may go all out on it. 
they like aluminum wheels just trick it out i gotta find another grab bar i guess if i do two the little homemade one's pretty cool but not gonna work on this job but guys thanks for watching these videos this is kind of just like a little deal here i don't know i probably ain't doing too good on it but i appreciate you guys watching anyways all three of these are 1984 atc 70s and they're just sweet man the sweet i mean you look at them you can't get no better than that that's awesome little trucks three wheelers whatever you want to call them jeremy mcgrath baby guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next video hope you enjoy like subscribe comment let me know what you think should i build two of these or just the one we'll see you guys on the next video